Hello everyone. Here I came with a new video about uh, sentence structure in Turkish. So we're going to see what is the structure of a sentence and how we can make sentences and what are the possibilities of changing the positions of uh, parts of speech. So uh, I will not go through details right now because um, this is an A1 level uh, video. So we're going to just have a look on some sentences and I hope it will help you. Okay, the sentences usually start with subject, then time can come here right after the subject, and after time we have place, and after place we have object and we have verb. So if we have an object, it usually comes uh, before the verb. Sometimes uh, the elements of the sentence may change places and it doesn't affect um, the sentence in a wrong way. Okay, so let's go through some examples. Before that, I'm going to ask you to take your notebooks and a pen and please take notes because you're going to practice with these structures and just um, the sentences with different sentences and you can ask any questions uh, from me about sentence structure you can make sentences with different vocabularies and write in the comments below I'm going to answer you uh, maybe right away maybe in one or two days okay have you subscribed already please subscribe if you haven't and please um, click on the bell icon so you would be notified okay so let's start with a normal sentence ban means I yarn means tomorrow okula okula to school annemle annemle with my mom gidiyorum gidiyorum that is go with the conjugation of first um singular person so the sentence is ben yarın okula annemle gidiyorum and we can uh, change these two words and we can have the sentence like this without any problem like ben yarın annemle okula gidiyorum so we have these two structures and um, they are completely correct. Okay, so next. Here, in this example, we have san, means you, dun, dun, and yesterday, ishe, ishe means to work, ish means work, ishe means to work. Gittin mi? Gittin mi? Means did go, like did you go? We have you here. Did you go? Okay, so as you see, we don't have any objects here. So the sentence is going to be San dün işe gittin mi? Sen dün işe gittin mi? Means, did you go to work yesterday? 
Or we can have time at the beginning of the sentence. We sometimes do that. Even in English, we sometimes do that. We mention the time in the beginning uh, of the sentence. So we have Dun san ishe gittin mi? Dun san ishe gittin mi? It has the same meaning and it's not wrong. I mean, according to the structure. Okay. The other example, in this example, we're going to have Ali. It's a guy's name. Şimdi means now. Okuldan from school. Servisle with school bus. Geldi. Came. So the sentence is. Ali şimdi okuldan servisle geldi. Ali şimdi okuldan servisle geldi. It means Ali came from school with school bus. And we can change the place of object and place and we will have Ali şimdi servisle okuldan geldi. Ali şimdi Servisle okuldan geldi. It's not wrong and it's okay. Both of them are correct. So here we have biz asla means never sokakta means in the street. Koşmayız means we don't run. We don't run. Okay, so here we don't have an object. Uh, but I just want you to pay attention. Even if we have uh, an adverb that neg negatives, that makes the um, situation of the verb and the sentence in a negative form, we still keep the negative form of the verb. Okay, we have this ma here to make it negative, and whether we have this never or not, um, that doesn't affect the negativity of the verb. Okay, it's not like in English that if we have never, we do not make the verb negative. We do make it negative even we have other uh, vocabularies that emphasize the negativity of the sentence. So the sentence is Biz asla sokakta koşmayız. It means we never run in the street. Or we can change, you know, here. Biz sokakta asla koşmayız. It has the same meaning. Biz sokakta asla koşmayız. Okay. Next. Onlar means they. Bazen means sometimes. Adana'ya means to Adana. Adana is a city. Uçakla by plane. Giderler. Go. In plural form of the third person. Okay. So here we have onlar bazen Adana'ya uçakla giderler. Means they sometimes go to Adana by plane. We can have a little bit of a change here in object and place. So we can have the sentence like this. Onlar bazen uçakla Adana'ya giderler. They sometimes go to Adana by plane. Okay. Mm. Sometimes, actually generally, let's say generally, the verb, the word 
which is just behind um, the verb, is a bit emphasized, or maybe they change the places of the um, just parts of the sentence in order to bring it just behind the verb to emphasize it a little bit. So this is what I get from this language. Okay, akşam, in the evening, kafede, in a cafe, yemek, food, yedik, eight. Okay, yedik has uh, the suffix of this ik here, it means we ate. So we didn't bring the subject here, but we can understand who's the subject by the uh, suffix of the verb here. Okay, so the sentence is Akşam kafede yemek yedik. Akşam kafede yemek yedik. Okay. Here we have hemen means right away, immediately, çantana, in your bag, kitabını, your book, koy, put. Okay, as you see here we have the root of the uh, verb here, the verb koy mark, it means put. If we have the root of the verb here, we have the um, Imperative, yes. So here, the sentence says, Hemen çantana kitabını koy. Hemen çantana kitabını koy. Or, we have, Hemen kitabını çantana koy. Hemen kitabını çantana koy. Okay, so, we have, these two words changed here, and as I said, it seems that it's just to emphasize the which one is more important because it comes right before the verb. Now both of them are um, correct structurally; they're not wrong, and they have the same meaning. No change in the meaning unless you emphasize on one of the words. It means, okay, this sentence means put your book in your bag right away. Here, we have the um, question words. We have Kim for subject. Nezaman for time. Nerede, nereye, nereden? From, uh, like, nerede means where, like, where is it? Nereye means to where. Uh, nereden means from where, okay? So, that's how we ask uh, about the place. And in object, we can ask kime. Kimle, kiminle, kimi, kimden. Like kime means to who. Kimle or kiminle means with who. And kimi means like who has the verb been exposed. Like who has the, yeah. Who do we mean uh, by object? Yeah, who's the object? Okay, uh, kimdan means from who. And then we have verb ne yaptı, what do, like what did they do. And it depends on the uh, tense of the sentence here, I just chose past. So we have ne and yap together, then it depends on the uh, tense of the sentence to choose which 
tense we're going to use for, but we have ne and yap to ask about the verb. Um, I just have a few examples here. Kim geldi? Kim geldi? As you see, we have the sentence structure here. We have the uh, question word here, and we have the verb at the end. Means who came? Kim geldi? Kim geldi? Ne zaman okula gideceksin? Ne zaman okula gideceksin? That means when will you go to school? Okay, so we have when to school will you go? Okay. Nerede or nerede yemek yedin? Nerede yemek yedin? That is, where did you eat food? Where did you eat food? Nerede yemek yedin? So we have the question word here. We have the um, object here. And we have the verb at the end of the sentence. Haftaya nereye gidiyorsun? Haftaya nereye gidiyorsun? Where are you going next week? Uh, okay, I should have put a space here. Anyway, you understand. Haftaya nereye gidiyorsun means next week. To where are you going? Okay, so here we have, where are you going next week? As you see, we have the time in the beginning of the sentence. You have first this uh, time expression. Then we have this question word. And then we have the verb at the end of the sentence. San kiminle konuşuyorsun? Sen kiminle konuşuyorsun? Or we can omit sen here and we can only have kiminle konuşuyorsun because sun belongs to sen so we understand that um, who is the subject of the verb. Kiminle konuşuyorsun means to whom konuşuyorsun are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Sen kiminle konuşuyorsun? Or kiminle konuşuyorsun? Asuman okulda ne yaptı? Asuman okulda ne yaptı? So, we have the subject here. We have the place. And we have the verb. And the question uh, word of the verb at the end. So it means, what did Asimon do at school? Okay. I hope this video was quite understandable for you. Please ask any questions regarding to the grammar of this lesson in the comments below. I will answer you. And uh, I wish you good luck. Um, just one more thing. You can um, write any messages about the lessons, not only into the comments on my uh, Facebook channel that I have um, just mentioned the link in the channel. And you can also ask for any private lessons. And um, yeah, just this. Good luck, everyone, and do not forget to like and subscribe. Have a nice day.